Today I'll be speaking about budget expectations in relation to the capital markets and the dividend distribution tax. There's a lot of pressure on the government to remove long-term capital gains tax on listed equity. But I'll be surprised if that government actually goes ahead and removes the long-term capital gains tax. And the reason is that I think there's a lot of pressure on the government uh, from a revenue standpoint of view because of lower than expected GST collections, the economy not doing as much as the government would want it to do, the reduction in the corporate tax rates last year, and the expectations on reducing personal taxes along in, in line with the corporate taxes. Uh, and at the same time, I think the stock market has been doing reasonably well, so there's not much concern for the government over there. So I think the government might probably uh, end up tweaking the holding period for long-term gains so that it can give benefit to medium-term investors. Uh, but I think what the government should do is to rationalize the tax regime for investments because today there are different tax rates and holding period for capital gains, for example, on equity, uh, on unlisted equity shares, mutual funds, pension funds, on REITs. And I think this whole regime makes it very complex, especially for small investors and for foreign investors. So what the government should do is probably rationalize the holding period, the surcharges and the tax rates across different segments and reduce it to uh, lesser components so that becomes more easy to com comprehend. And I think on the DDT, uh, I would personally feel that there is a likelihood of the dividend distribution tax being removed because today the regime in India is probably unique in the world where dividends are triple taxed. One is the corporate tax on the company which pays the dividend, second is the 20% dividend dip distribution tax and then an additional 10% tax on an individual investor who receives dividend of more than 10 lakhs in a year. So I think that discourages strategic investments in long-term equity. And so if the government removes the dividend distribution tax with a tedious regime which used to exist many years earlier, then I think it will make the system a little bit more equitable and fair. Though I think the visual thinking would, would be for the government to completely remove tax on dividends because dividends are already taxed. Uh, as corporate income tax. Now, the government will have to be careful in replacing the DDT with the TDS regime because in a TDS regime, an investor or a shareholder will have to keep a track of all income he has earned, the tax deducted and the advance tax which he has to pay on in case of any shortfall. And we have seen many cases in the new 26 AS regime that there could be a mismatch between the TDS shown by a taxpayer and the TDS shown in the records. So this can be a big hassle for you know senior citizens, small time investors, etc. So I think what the government should do is have some kind of a hybrid system where there is no need for a small time investor, for a pensioner, etc. to reconcile the TDS with his income. And at the same time, it can be replaced with the regime with the overall tax burden on an investor is reduced.